Hello friends and welcome to Coffee and Conversation. Encouragement for today. A ray of hope coming from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. And friend, there's just not a better place to find that ray of hope than in the light of God's holy and precious word. Today we'll be in the book of Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 55, and let's look at verse number 9 as a text verse of scripture. Notice what the Bible says here. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than yours, and my thoughts than your thoughts. And I pray that God would add his great blessings to the reading of his holy and precious word today. Friend, get that good fresh cup of hot coffee. Let's sit together and have an encounter with God and his precious word on this beautiful day. My goodness, friend. There's just not a better way to start a brand new day. Good fresh hot coffee and a fresh word from God. Today I want to bring to you a devotional thought that is titled Beyond Reasonable. Friend, be prepared at times, the Lord's instructions may not make sense to you. In fact, it's a principle that you must embrace if you wish to know the Heavenly Father. God doesn't require you to understand His will. He just asks that you obey it even if it seems unreasonable. Think about it. Why would the Lord ask Abraham to leave his home without telling him where he was going? Or why would God promise Abraham a son at age 75 and then wait 25 years to fulfill his word? Humanly, it doesn't make sense. But friend, that's the point. You're not supposed to understand the Father. His desire is that you would honor him as God and the sovereign one who transcends all earthly limitations. Because friend, when you do... He does the miraculous on your behalf, and your faith grows stronger every day. Reason will always interfere with faith. As long as you're looking for everything to make sense, you're not fully depending on the omnipotent God. My friend, give up your earthbound notions and allow God to show you who he really is. Think about this. Friend, he'll bless you. Let's pray together. Lord, I accept that your wisdom is beyond my own. Help me honor you with my life. And God will give you praise for it. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Well, friend, I pray the devotion has been a blessing to you today. And if it has, you be a blessing to someone else by sharing it with them. And remember, your life is the Bible that some may read today. So let others see and hear Jesus in everything you say 
and in everything that you do. Again, God bless you. Have a wonderful day.